Hey my loves, it's me Ravina, and welcome back to my channel. If you have read my community posts, then you know that my parents have been doing some Swedish cleaning. Basically, they're decluttering and letting go of things they no longer need. As much as I would like to, I definitely can't hold on to everything, even though it reminds me of my childhood. My mom and I both have a weakness for kitchen tools and our collection shows it. So I'm basically going to pare these items down to what I can use and then I will put them in stacks of like items, which is to ensure that I do not have too many of any one item. This is a multi-purpose tool. It peels, julienne, slices, and I got this from Bangkok last month. I'm not keeping these few items here. I'm also going to make a pile of maybes. These are tongs, spatulas, and I need a pile for knives. Do you know what this is? This is a pair of tongs that you will probably find in most Asian houses, including my mom, and it is to grasp hot pots. Alright, with everything stacked in piles, I want to take one more look to ensure I do not have too many repeats. I especially want to look at the knives. So with the help of my son and a knife guide on Google, we worked out the precise function of each knife and kept what we needed. Similarly, we went through each pile. This has been great because it has also made me go through my own things and discard anything that has outlived its usability. So here are the piles of things that I would like to keep. The rest I'm either donating, recycling or putting into the bin. I have three of these drawers in my wet kitchen that hold all my cooking utensils. So whatever I keep should ideally fit into the drawers. When organizing things, it is important to remember that you should not exceed what your designated area can hold. Once you allow things to infiltrate or flow into other areas, your house will no longer be organized. The next thing I need is dividers. I shopped my home and a few stores, but was unable to get anything to fit the configuration I wanted. So I requested my dad and my daughter to make these customized white dividers for me. They measured every pile and arranged them the best they could and then built the dividers. Each drawer has a different configuration, but they did manage a separate compartment for each type. In the first drawer, I have four large compartments. So I'm going to put in items that I use daily. The first item is my spatulas. I got to say I'm not crazy about the color of some of my spatulas, but being unable to get these in a more neutral color, I continue to use the colorful ones because they are fantastic. In the next space, I'm putting all my tongs. And here are my whisks. I have decided to keep all except the tiny one as each has a different purpose. And lastly, in this space, I'm adding a few things that I use daily, such as my sieve and scoop for my tea. And as I have a little extra space, I'm keeping these items here. After all, it's prime real estate. Moving on to the next drawer, where I have five spaces, I'm going to start with my knives. I'm considering buying a knife organizer, but that will have to wait till I find the perfect one. Over here, I have the mandolin and my graters. I have a cheese grater, tower grater, and garlic grater. Since the knives are here, it makes sense for me to keep the sharpener as well. And in the smaller spaces, I'm distributing my kitchen gadgets. Now let's move on to the bottom drawer. It's a much taller drawer than the other two, and therefore it is very useful for vertical storage. However, for me, I'm happy to say that I don't have that much to store, 
and I have space for growth. While shopping my home, I found these long organizers and lucky me, they fit perfectly in here. So here I'm going to store the items that I definitely need to keep, but do not use too often. The first one holds my ricer. Does anyone else know why it's called a ricer? Do let me know in the comments below. Then I have my igniter. I have another one in the dry kitchen, which I'm going to move here as well. I have also put the carving fork, spaghetti fork, and my wok ladles in here. And lastly, I have my rolling pins. So my loves, this is an example on how to organize a single section of your home. Every organized small area is a part of an organized home. Every drawer, every shelf matters. If you have taken some ideas for your own organization, then do give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more home organization videos. Until the next video, this is Ravina saying happy homemaking.